to the adventure and put my on W four C Y Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... I Bolt Man. Nice. So, here you are at Rock Lahoma, Rock Lahoma, dude. And you just got off the stage. Yes, sir. Tell us about that at early morning, first day of the festival. Early morning of the festival, man. It's, it's a lot cooler than the afternoon, so kind of blessed with that. We're still all hot, though. Ain't that right? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty freaking hot, right? Yeah, but we had 30 minutes. We got up there, killed it, just got off stage, and we're here with you, man. Nice. And I, I dig the way you guys look, and since we're radio, I had to point that out, especially since I grew up as a teenager in yeah. the Sunset Strip scene. <laughs> That's what I'm talking All about. All right? That's what I'm talking so, about. So, like, I was here last night watching Warrant, who I hung yeah. out with in the 80s, yeah. and L.A. Guns. Yeah. They don't look Sunset Strip anymore like you guys do. That's right. You you have taken over. You have, like, rinsed that whole 80s thing dry, rewrapped it, and here we are. That's right, man. man. Yeah. Nice. And they're getting old. Somebody has to step up. I know, right? (laughs) So I, I am curious, okay? So at this stage, 2023, what prompted you guys to be into... That whole 80s glam sunset strip type of scene. Man, our, our parents really all just put us on growing up, listening to the radio, videos, and uh, we just got really inspired by all those big bands and trying to bring it back, show the kids. Nice. So, real important question. Do you use Aquanet on your hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is complete Aquanet. Yeah. yeah. It's the only one yeah. that can really do yeah. the hair like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is half This is half a bottle right here. <laughs> so describe for our listeners your music in the respect of, you know, we know how it's the same. How is it different? How has it evolved from way back when? So... From the 80s, you know, they were very limited. You know, they grew up with their bands, but we also grew up with 90s and 2000s. Yeah. So I classify us as 21st century glam band. So we take inspiration from all the 80s, of course, but we take bits and pieces from the 90s, 20s, you know, and put it all into one thing. But it is glam rock, let me tell you. See, but I love that about music today because back in that day, I hated it. There were the gatekeepers. Yeah. I was one of them yeah. at a certain point. <laughs> you, you almost had to be. Because I remember, like, first, like, my first club show ever on the Sunset Strip was Motley Crue. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Before they had an album, they tried to light the place on fire to yeah. bring Satan yeah. in and stuff. That's what I'm talking about. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm never going to a real concert ever again. And then... Bands like Metallica and Slayer came along. I went to yep. their first shows ever. Yep. But then, like, my friends were like, uh, we need to burn your Motley Crue shit. Because <laughs> you can't be going to Slayer shows and listen. And it used to happen like that, man. Wow. It was like such a divide in L.A. Right. And it was stupid. Right. Because why do we have to have that? Why do we have to separation, especially then exactly. when there were so few of us? Exactly. Like, why not come together? So that's why I dig about you guys. You took all of it, put yeah. it all together, yeah. and made it something that we can all enjoy and nobody has to be gatekeeping. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes, sir. So what are you going to do? How are you going to top Rock, Oklahoma? Uh, well, actually, we did just get asked that we are playing here tomorrow at 11. Wow, yeah. you yeah. did that good. Cause that's I think what, so. That's what it comes down to. You did that good. That's right. Because I don't think there's any other band playing twice at Rock. That's Hall. right. That's so, right. And this is our first time, too. So, yeah. And it, it, is there, okay, so there's a lot of those old school 
glam bands, hair metal bands yep. here. Yep. Is there one more than any other that you want to catch their set or just go on tour with them? Uh, probably, man. Skid Row, Kicks. Like, from here at Rocklahoma, like, we are definitely going to catch Kicks and stuff, but... Oh, that's a good thing, because you know it's their second to last show ever. Wow. Ever. We did not know that. So now you have to go. That's right. That's right. We'll, we'll, we'll be here. <laughs> you, you're going to have to hook up with them and maybe perform a song with them on stage. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Right? That'd be crazy. Speaking of crazy, what is the craziest thing that's happened so far in this musical journey for you guys? <sighs> Man, what, what do you guys think? The, whenever, whenever you went to the Motley Crue show, man. Y'all went to the Motley, Motley Crue show. He probably met. took more pictures than Motley Crue did. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah, we went up to Motley Crue concert with all in our stage fits, you know, looking like this, and we were just in the lobby and we took probably over at least two hundred photos. Bef yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. How could you not though? Exa exactly. <laughs> so, what do you think about since you went to a show? What do you think about the bullshit that people are like talking smack about Crue and their live show? You saw it firsthand. What's yeah. your opinion? Uh, man, I love Motley Crue. I'm glad they're still doing it and trying to share it with the kids and younger generations. You know, they came out with that movie, The Dirt, 2019. Great movie. Exactly, great movie. It's like a home movie for exactly. me. Exactly. Yeah. And so all these kids are getting into that scene, and they're coming to our shows, too, and it's putting them on, so I'm really appreciative of them. I think it's great because it, it was a great scene. It's unfortunate that it had a gap, and now you guys are going to fill that gap. That's right. But, like, even... I was at that party when uh, Vince left with Razzle. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. They're like, we're going for a beer run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Little did we know what was happen. coming later. <laughs> right? That's but that crazy. was the scene back then. Right. How would you say the scene is different now compared to back then from what you know? Not as many drugs and partying. Like, like there's, there's not as many <laughs> hard drugs and partying. I mean, everybody can kind of keep a good mental state. I think that's very important. It's so funny you should say that, because I was just saying before, like, some of the hair metal bands that are playing here, I'm thinking to myself, well, they were really fucked up back in the 80s, and they were young, and they were jumping around. I don't know if they can do that sober. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we just went up there and rocked their faces in sober, so. Well, that's what I'm saying, but nowadays, yep. like, nowadays, yep. it's cool to be straight edge. Exactly. Whereas... Listen, back then, most of the time, they were forgetting how to play their instrument, forgetting right. the words. Right. There, was so, there was so much going on. I remember I was at the A3 Us Festival, and David Lee Roth, they were, <laughs> they were doing Ain't Talk About Love. He wasn't singing, and Eddie's looking over at him, and he goes to the whole crowd, 300,000 people, I fucking forgot the words. That's it. <laughs> That's great. That is that now, is so David Lee Roth. Now you're gonna love what came next. Some dude heckled him. Like the whole crowd cheered, but there was one dude that heckled him, and he turns to him. And he goes, "I'm gonna fuck your girlfriend." Yes, I saw that video. Yes, yes. I was there for that. That was, that's that was awesome. Pretty, that was pretty badass. So that's why I'm happy you guys are here at Rocklahoma because we need to bring that whole scene back, but the way you do it. Because it's better. You're going to be longer lasting without all that, you know, it was fun. But right. you know what they say. If you remember the Sunset Strip in the 80s, you weren't there. Exactly. Exactly. But nowadays, you're more professional right. and professional musicians yes. and doing it right. And exactly. you guys kicked ass here at Rocklahoma. How do people connect to you guys on socials, on the web, everything else, so that they can check you guys out, but most importantly, buy your merch, because that's the only way you survive. Right. Uh, like I said, uh, we're on Facebook and Instagram, iBolt Official, both pages, and we have website links to shirts. Nice. Yep. So let me ask you, too, do you go around in your town like Crew did and, and plaster flyers on Yes! Everyone? Yes, we do. I miss those yes, days. Yes, we do. Like yeah. everywhere you turned in L.A., there was a Motley yeah. Crew flyer somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> And the cool thing about, like, dressing like this and how it was then is you bought music based on how cool the band looked. Exactly. So if we were back then without MP3s and stuff, and I saw you guys, I'm telling the listeners this so they can check it out, I would buy the album immediately. That's awesome. I appreciate that. So thank you for bringing it back. Thank you for being absolute great musicians here at Rocklahoma, and thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thank you, man. We're out of here. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man.
Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.